God's grace to you and peace. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Lord, by you we live and move and have our being, and are nothing aside or outside of you. We are the work of your hand to do as you see fit. To do with as you see fit, to be upheld or made low, to triumph or to struggle. These things are not ours to decide, but only how to stand our, in our station or to persevere unto victory. So, Lord, our hope is in you. O oh God, for we know that all things pass away. So comfort our hearts when in our foolishness we try to cling to fleeting things that slip from our fingers even while we try to grasp them. Show us your gifts, your grace that pours out in such abundance that it always is more than we need. For you know what we need. You know our lives, our breath, our journey, even the wandering of this day. Lord, may we draw closer to you this day. In all we do, in how we live out your word, Lord, we put our trust in only you, O God. Above all the structures we cling to in life, above all principalities and forms of governing, Lord, in all the ways we set our course to journey through life, to uplift ourselves and the lives of others, we acknowledge and declare that there is none greater than your love. So, Lord, forgive us for all the times that we have used the things of your creation for divisive, destructive, and selfish reasons. Lord, when in deception we have manipulated the dominion of this earth to deceive others onto our path instead of guiding them with compassion and love, that all people may journey unto your way, which is in Christ, and in him salvation. Lord, that we may acknowledge you before all creation, that you are preeminent and eternal. Let us relearn humility and practice faith and perseverance unto truth and wisdom that the evidence of your love might be in the way we live and move and have our being, all in the name of Christ Jesus our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. From Paul's letter to the church in Colossae, chapter 1, verse 16. For by him were all things created, things that are in heaven and things that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. We own land, we own vehicles, we own clothes and toys and gadgets and tools, and by our wallets and bank accounts and in coffers, we aim to own even more. The thing is, even as we have all this stuff, how much does it seem that all of this stuff actually has us? How much are we owned by the things we think we own? One of our duties as Christians is to direct the resources of this world to the growth of the faith through the sharing of the gospel. Our resources, our government, our celebrities, our accounts, our possessions find their chief purpose in leading that work, that is, to that purpose we hold them to account. But do we really? Our governments, our institutions, our media and entertainment all seem focused on bringing praise and worship either to themselves or to us. But unto God? Even those governments that claim governance under God for the glory of God have been showing little or no proof of obedience to God. At least in a spirit of honesty, those who are faithful need to be ready to criticize, separate themselves, stand against such shameful misappropriation of faith. Yet we are assured that whatever happens to the governance, the culture, the powers of the day, that the will of God remains eternal. And that those who seek after, God, seek after God will never become lost, though all the world around them falls to its own deceptions. For God was before all of this, and God will remain after all these things are forgotten dust, to be made new after the design of the Creator. For God's will is eternal, God's justice lasts forever, and there is peace for all. Amen.